Hello everybody, this is Arathas and welcome back to Gladius Relics of War. So, I think what we're going to be doing this episode is we are probably going to be pushing our army to kind of just have an arc of defenses right here. Including, like, as you can see, tanks and, you know, um, Devastator Marines, all this. Basically, this, this defensive line is going to go down like this. We are not going to go, we're not going to take the time to surround the entire base, mostly because I am going to be building an army of aircraft over here that I'm going to use to, well, for lack of a better word, mess with the Necrons until I can get a big enough force to actually start wiping out Necron cities. And hopefully the Necrons are over here wiping out the Space Marines at the same time. Now, while my aircraft are out here doing this, and while these guys are basically holding firm against whatever the, um, you know, these guys send at me, I am going to also create a librarian and start visiting these so we can continue the quest. And in fact, my aircraft may actually go this way first, because it looks like I need to clear out a city or two before I can actually, you know, pay a visit to some of these... Uh, encampments. So, that is what is on the agenda today. Okay, so it looks like we do go all the way down. I might put a tank here. <clears throat> In fact, the next predator I get my hands on will probably go there. <laughs> and I don't have any predators coming. Okay. Either way, let's end the turn because kind of what I want to do is I want to get the improved frag casings. I want to continue down my research path and get like some of the machine empathy and stuff like that to make my vehicles even stronger, including my aircraft. And yeah, we'll go from there. Man, one of the weakest parts of the uh, Space Marine Army is the lack of artillery. God, I wish I had some artillery. Haha, -ha, he did not die. He might later, though, so I need to get him the hell out of there. Yep. Fall back. I'm gonna have you keep trimming these trees out. Now. Should I move you here, or should I... Oh. I'm gonna come up here, and we're gonna have a little chat with the Sentinels. I don't really care about this guy. He's going to come within range. These guys are going to basically paste him. Not a big problem. Alright. Am I ready to start building more... Uh, I don't know why I clicked off of that. Am I ready to start building some more predators? Because it looks like if I, I should put a predator here. And then I need one, two, three more predators. Yeah, frankly, I only need two more predators so one two three and then Lee and then this one will just move around and take that spot and we'll just reposition these troops seems like the way to go and I can reposition this stuff right now put ourselves in a nice defensive area and your job is just gonna be to keep clearing these out you know what? Let's start giving the order to move all these guys over here. Okay, order units. Nah, man, you good there. Oh, hello. Uh, Pain Boy and the Def Coptas. They really want this thing dead. You guys are just neutral. You're insignificant at this point. Gotta love the crack storm missiles, though. Alright. Let the everything continue being claimed. I don't care at the moment, so... Yeah, I just need to throw my... Throw my weight behind some... Predators. Predators. 
Yeah, it looks like this, like the Astra Militarum are moving. Oh, I think they're already fighting some Necrons. Isn't this interesting? Even the Bane Blade doesn't seem to want to be involved over here. You took out. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Lord Commissar decided to attack my Storm Raven <laughs> with melee. You know what? That's fine. I'm going to pull you here. And we're going to have you start repairing him. They can have that spot for now. I think they have bigger things to worry about than me anyway. Yep, get in a position, boys. Yep, that's your position now. Excellent. You come to your new formation, and we just need two more tanks. Yeah, start shooting that DACA jet. Oh, they will pay for taking my research away, that's for sure. I ain't even cool with that. Uh, yeah, some more tanks. And pretty soon all my resources are going to go towards the production of... Um... God, what are they called? Ah, uh, Storm Ravens. Because I also have some research when it comes to the uh, drop pod beacons and stuff like that. That normally when you use a drop pod to land, you have to... You lose your attack and your movement. However, there are research options later on for the Space Marines that if you um, land with, what's it called, um, land next to proximity of certain aircraft and certain normal units, actually no, I don't want you to do nothing. Uh, if they land within proximity of certain units, they will at least get to attack. Yep, we're gonna chill right here, and then we're gonna go pay a visit to the nasty, nasty orcs that are messing with my stuff. Stuff that should not be happening, frankly. There you go. And then I'm just gonna give you your order for next turn right now. Can I build another tank yet? I cannot. That's fine though, I only need one and then one, two, then two, um, hunters. And I feel like bringing you up here, maybe hooking you around. Eh. Yeah, you come up here too. You have no reason to be just chilling out there. Okay, let's put that to sleep and that to sleep for now. The other upside to this army I'm building up here is that when the time comes to take the fight into this territory or even north, that can move just as a big tide. That's kind of something I want to see. You know, without that DACA jet backing you up, ooh, that's how you're staying alive, okay. Can you heal yourself, pain boy? Because I kind of don't think you can. Honestly, he probably can. I have no... <coughs> I have no idea. Let's get some Dreadnoughts trained. And then... <clears throat> Terminators, Orbital Deployment, and then some of the upgrades I was talking about are like right here. Uh, causes Orbital Deployment to not consume action points when deploying Terminators adjacent to Tactical Marines. 
and eventually the locator beacon. Causes orbital deployment to not consume action points when deploying next to scout bikers or storm ravens. Ooh. That would be nice when the big old tanks come rolling over. So let's maybe hit up a hunter killer missile. Actually, looking at that option. We're going to go help this dude over here. We're just going to wreck all of that. Yeah, you good. Maybe come up here and keep, um, no, no, no. Keep clearing this stuff out for the eventual moving of the army. Alright, just one more tank, and then I can shut down the... Ooh, I don't want to shut it down, though, because that look at that research boost. Okay. And it looks like my population is catching up, so... After all of these get claimed and built, I'm probably going to start focusing a lot of points on the refectory and the influence. Alright. We're playing the long game here. It'll work, though. Oh, but what you doing? There's no need to run. I promise. Okay. I'll even let you guys get the first hit against these vehicles. Yeah, the Necrons are definitely toying with these guys right now. Yeah, the main reason you see me continuing to... You gonna make it up there? Nope. Uh, main reason you see me continuing to clear this space out is I'm probably going to put another uh, beacon up here, especially if I can get those Promethium Relay Pipes. Alright. There's our librarian. Go visit, dude. Take the chaplain with you, why don't you? I mean, let's get a captain while we're at it. I mean, I really don't need the influence right this second. So I think the next three spots to get claimed are going to be these three. At least that seems like how I would have set that up. So, I am going to give the order to claim a few more. I know it's costing me influence, but I can replace the influence later. I just want to have my city growing as much as possible for now. Ah, it's requisitions I'm running out of. Also, put that to rest. I still want the research points, but put it to rest. Hello. Thank you for revealing yourself. You're just gonna murder him. And I know you can't murder him outright, but you can hurt him. And that's your job. Can't wait to get the tide of these dudes launched. I keep hearing orc units. Yep, the Daka jet's back. Shoot him. Oh, you don't use your missiles when you counterattack? Or when you overwatch? That's crazy. If you're fighting orcs, you use every piece of firepower you have at your disposal. Also, Gorkonaut? Neutral Gorkonaut. Holy crap. That's new. Fall back. They lost all their cities while they still had a Gorkonaut out and about, huh? Where did that chopper go? There he is. Good deal. Yep, you defend. Uh, you defend. You're just here to help the librarian. Also, librarian should probably have some skills. Let's go with Shockwave. It's his main attack skill. Cool. You got this? What'd you find? So far, nothing. 
big fat pile of nothing. Yeah, I'll take some shots at you. What you gonna do about it? Hmm. Odd that he has so many upgrades. Grot riggers. Yeah, well, whatever. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and start the claiming process on this side as well. And like I said before, I know a lot of people probably think this is unnecessary. But it all it gives my city time to catch up in group population to the requirements. And I can't get enough resources to, pro to produce a Storm Raven in one turn anyway, so what you gonna do? Okay, so we've annihilated the orc forces that were messing with us down here. <laughs> Might be time to go play with the Gorkonaut. Hi! Was this really the best move for you guys? I mean, you guys took that from me a while ago. Hey, guys. Reaction fire. Man, I didn't think all of you guys would be able to reach him. Man, that Gorkonaut is not having a good day. I don't even know what he came over here to attack. Ooh, that did hurt, though. Probably bring him down with the Devastator. Not quite. Nice. You know what? I still can put some resources to use. I forgot I still need hunters. Three more hunters, just because we know that the AI likes their aircraft, whether they are the Necrons or anything else, frankly. You know what? You just, you just move up on these guys and use every weapon you have. Gone. And if any other enemies show up here and they are too much to handle, we can back off. I mean, we got a whole city. Alright. So now you guys need to make your way... You guys probably can make your way up that way. Together. I think I'll send you guys out this way just because... You're not going to be able to get through there once the tanks go back into position. Oh, I forgot about these little artifacts. And now, while the enemy is busy, might be the time. Because I do feel like there's a big-ass war going on just off-screen. Off really? Really? Again, you, you choosing to come after me. Alright, man. Ow. Oh, I hate those attacks. How about this? Any of you guys? You know what? Everybody can move forward. Wow. Are you assholes kidding me? That is some great ABS. They're even downhill from me. <laughs> like, what sense does that make? Yeah, nobody else can get within vision range without going all the way. 
Yeah, this little cliff edge is bullshit. But hey. I've already said the line of sight system in this game is iffy at best. Uh-huh, now you're gonna pay for that. Alright, build me another hunter. Okay, so this coming turn, everybody goes back into position. Oh, definitely everybody goes back into position. Holy crap. Oh, he got pushed back. That is a weird placement choice. Alright, guys. Yeah, they are taking a beating. Their their morale is in the toilet. Well, like I said, though, everyone's going back into position. This is not our war. <laughs> they can just pl continue playing with the Necrons, because I'm sure that's what's happening. Cool, the captain is about... Cool, I want you to come up this way. Exactly how are you intending to pull that off? Through... okay. Sure. The next hunter will go right there. The Necrons didn't do much in terms of claiming... Orc territory, did they? Okay, one more hunter, and that is done. I would like a transport unit though, because the Storm Raven is a tra isn't a transport. Is oh, it is. Cool. Then why the hell would I even build a Storm Talon at this point? And just load my dudes up in a Storm Raven. Guess who's got hunter killer missiles now? Are the Necrons right there? Oh, I might just sit here and smile as you guys get annihilated. I mean, you deserve every bit of it. Is that a Necron attack? Yep, here they come. Run, lads, and hope the Commissar ain't watching. I'm sure he is, first of all. The Commissar sees all. And two, they're, they're picking a bad place to come across. Just gonna say that right now. How many artifacts? Oh my god. They have all the artifacts, it looks like. I, mean, I really don't want to help the enemy here, but these are Xenos. Now, because these are Xenos that can come up at, can get back up at the drop of a hat, I am going to kill them. Okay. Where's the captain? Alright, you get into position, dude. And you guys should probably continue your scouting efforts. Because I really want to know what I'm dealing with here. Storm Raven! Turn them all on. Oh, this provides requisitions, too. I should have kept it on this whole time. Anyway, let's back up a little bit. Start getting the Dreadnought and, yeah, a lot of this other stuff. 
I think combat shield is for the assault marines, so I'm not in too much of a hurry for that. But I'm going to hit this, and then I'm probably going to send my heroes in aircraft. Hey, guys. I'd advise you not to mess around over here. I can do all kinds of stuff to you from here. Found something. Oh no, it's just that tile. Oh, found a city. Cool, cool. Yep, catch up, Captain. And Storm Raven's not quite done yet. But I can put another one in the queue. Excellent. Now I know you guys have to get closer to do anything to me, at which point I will mow you down. The Imperial Guards that way, don't don't mess about. Okay then. You were warned. I remember clearly warning you off. But you just had to mess around. So I want the electricity production, so I'm going to actually place my Fortress of Redemption right now, and I'm going to put it right here. We got Dreadnoughts. Yep, give me my electricity boost. Now, I would like the Storm Raven to come over here to pick these guys up. Will you look what we have sitting right over there? Aren't you a mechanical unit? Can't I, like really mess you up if I use a certain ability. Ooh, another Necron City. Okay, we found the bulk of their army. I highly doubt they built anything over here. They don't seem to be building as they go. But yeah, I want to find out if this does anything to the Necrons. Or if it just, yeah, it just messes up his weapons. Okay. Disappointing. Understandable, but disappointing. You give me another Storm Raven. What does this give me if I turn it back on? Besides sucking away my power. Hmm. It's actually worth keeping that turned on for the research and the loyalty. Cool, cool. Now, combat shield? Assault Marines, yeah, we don't use a lot of Assault Marines. Bolster defenses. I have a lot of those guys in my line. This would be perfect if they put up a huge attack. I can just have all of these guys grant damage reduction to all their adjacent units, range damage reduction. I would ask that you leave these dudes alone. I appreciate it. They have so much backup within range, man. You don't want to mess with this anyway. Okay. So how long till I can build another one? Ten turns. It'll take 160 next time. Okay, one thing I might do, just to make my life easier, is just use this in some of these areas. I can't use it again right now, okay. I just kind of want to make sure that all of these are open so I know where to plot my advances. Alright. So 
Storm Raven. Embark. Can I build another Storm Raven? No. <laughs> no, I cannot. And I have two turns before the one I already ordered built is built. So yeah, we're just going to try to do a quick little visit up here. Did I just get shot at? I thought I heard an explosion. Don't play, guys. What's going on? Hmm. I know the orcs had several artifacts. Yeah, one right here. I think I'm going to go take that. Hey, you. Hop up. Can you take this? I don't think you can. No! Damn it. It's definitely not what I wanted to do, but okay. I guess this is the direction we're going in now. Okay, start exploring this way, guys. I feel like the Necron's army might be focused. Who knows how long that little situation will last, though. Yeah, give me another Storm Raven. Don't even pretend you guys don't know I want Storm Ravens. Signums? Briefly increase their accuracy? That's not bad. But I would like Terminators and then Orbital Deployment. Eh, maybe Orbital Deployment first. Then Terminators, yeah. Why do you keep wanting me to give orders to myself? Oh, because I have all these, I have all these uh, structures active. Now the only reason to shut these structures off will be once I've got a few more, like genitorums, generatorum, sorry, and refectories built. In the meantime, we're building up the Air Force to play around a little bit. And once I have the orbital deployment, I can start dropping like standard units around the map to take this stuff. Eh, you know what? I feel like I need to send... I need to not worry about the... this stuff. And I should probably work my way around the bottom and just take my dude over here to check this out. I need to not get distracted. Ooh, power is taking a beating. I know how to fix it, though. For the most part. Oh. Really? Really, Cryptek. Alright. That seems foolish. Yeah, especially considering the Devastators. I'll take the experience, though. Considering most of my units are very low level, I will definitely take that experience. Hey, guys. Yes, the entire formation. Okay. I don't think I want to give more points towards the Storm Raven right now. In fact, I should probably cancel that Storm Raven until some more of these tiles are taken. 
and I can start putting down my, uh, what are they called? Like the generatorums. I hear a big treaded vehicle moving. No, those are scarabs, okay. Gotta point out, I don't appreciate you guys heading towards my home. Uh-huh. You guys are aiming for my energy production. Dick move. Come on. Murder him. It. Hey, Cryptek. They need to lose some artifacts. Now. Alright, where is my orbital deployment? Because I know I can rapidly seize at least one artifact from them. Take this one away. I didn't see any others up here. So there are other artifacts either have to be over here. Yeah, there's one. Or up above. Which is not a great thing for us. I love how all these units can orbit orbital deploy. <laughs> Produce a dreadnought and just drop it down here and have it like just punch shit. That would work. Ooh. It's only upkeep required is ore, is it? Well, that's one option. Let's do that. All right. Let's go ahead and start with the terminators. Now where is the... Okay, I have orbital deployment. Oh, it's up here, lo the locator beacon and the teleport home. I was like, okay, where is that stuff? Cool. Terminators. <laughs> the Terminators will be useful. Of that, I have no doubt. But now it looks like I have somehow gotten the attention of the... Necrons. Which is something I don't want, but it's happened anyway. Shoot that. What, nobody else can? I'm about to say, you best get to shooting. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Well, he's going to go down. I am so not cool with this. Yep, fall back. Let's not lose these units. What can I do with you? Which one has troops? You have the required troops. Whispers of heresy, rewards received, forbidden knowledge. The librarian communicates with his brothers in the reclusium to report that he's found something. An ancient building that resonates with traces of the Xenos. Okay, so what does forbidden knowledge do for me? Duh. Oh, there it is. Increases the level of the unit. Level him up. Now. But you use that on him. Ah, crap.
crap. That is not something I wanted to come into contact with. But hey, we are making progress on the story, right? <laughs> Oh no. No. Well, that was when we needed to end the ep I was out of time anyway, but the game just decided to crash on me. So, <laughs> with that, I am definitely out of time for today, so thank you everybody so very much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video at all, then please, by all means, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, or any combination of those actions that suits you today. And with that, I'll see you guys next time for some more Gladius Relics of War, where I'm going to continue the storyline while I'm also trying to fight back the bastard Necrons. Which I have time. It looks like their primary focus. They're testing my lines, but their primary focus is on the... Um, Astra Militarum. So, yeah, we'll see how that goes next time. Thanks again for watching, guys.